everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a continuation of the series on ways to adapt curriculum and learning resources for your child or student. These ideas can be used in the home setting or school setting. We are adapting store-bought puzzles to be more independent and engaging activity for young learners. So let's begin. I use the same technique with this puzzle as I did in the series two video with the Dollar Tree puzzles that I purchased about two years ago. This is a Walmart um, purchase here. The same about about the same amount of time about two years ago. This was originally for my son who was five and a half, and now my daughter who is three. She uses this puzzle um, as a learning activity. So I did the same method in the series two video where I just completed it, taped it in place, photocopied it, and this time I did it in color and I used double sided tape to secure it to the very back of the puzzle here, the, the puzzle board to make it stay in place and I turned it into a matching activity. So this was very, very important for this particular puzzle. Why? Because many of the pieces, they fit, they can fit in place, but it's not necessarily the right place. We have A is for Apple upside down here, but we know the right place is up here. And many children could do this activity independent if we added this as a matching activity so they can see, oh, all right, my letters are right side up. I am matching and creating this apple here with a little worm friend out. And also, this looks really silly, even though it fits, but oh wow, let me turn it around and get this to right way. All right, we're getting this to the right way now. So now the picture makes more sense. So I found that this was a little bit of a struggle with my son when he started off. He's like, oh, I'm done, I'm done. But I saw that pieces were in the wrong place. It fit, but it was in the wrong place. So I just wanna encourage you to take a look at some of the puzzles that you have in your collection and see if you can add more activities like this to your learning rotation with your young learners, perhaps just making a photocopy of it and make this into a matching activity will be very encouraging for your young learners. They, especially if you have older children that you're homeschooling or so, um, if you are a homeschool family, this can allow them to be able to do more activities independently while you're working with older children or they're just waiting their turn while mom or dad is going to do something and it will just help them to be able to use those logic skills use those matching skills um, all of that to help them to be more confident learners so have you done something similar with puzzles like this um, have you experienced this type of problem before uh, with a puzzle Please leave your comments below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And do stay positive and see you soon. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.